Know your rights, gig economy employment. Working in the gig economy, your job may be short-term and freelance as opposed to having a permanent job. Hi Rohit, please make three deliveries today. I will pay you 50 for each one. Sure, Mohammed. Is this something I need to do every day? No, I will only contact you whenever I need someone to deliver. It may be three to four times a week. There is no fixed schedule. One day, whilst making a delivery, Rohith gets into an accident with another road user and gets injured. Can Rohith claim compensation from Muhammad to recover costs of his injury, such as doctor's consultation fees or prescribed medication? Whilst having a job as part of the gig economy, you have to be really careful before you decide to take on the role and be aware of the implications if you're not officially registered as an employee for the company you're working for. Be sure to know what company your job is for or who you're working for. For example, Rohit should ask Muhammad, what food delivery service company am I making the delivery for? If you are working for a company, it is important to know if you are protected under their insurance policies. So, do your research, ask questions, and refer to the company's website for guidance. For example, Rohit should try and get as much information from Muhammad as possible. What happens if I am injured when making a delivery? Don't worry about that. It won't happen. Can you give me more information about this delivery service? That is none of your business. Just do the delivery and you will be paid. Even though Mohammed has not provided Rohit with information, Rohit should look at the company's website or contact the company and try to get as much information as possible to figure out if he is protected by insurance. Be sure to check your immigration status. Legal recourse can only be attained if your immigration status is determined. Typical routes to remedies, such as approaching the Labor Department for compensation, may not be available because companies that offer gig economy roles may not be considered employers. It may be possible to bring a personal injury claim. However, this depends on circumstances of each case. At this stage, it is best to obtain legal advice. Therefore, it is important to understand which company you're working for and if you will be protected under their insurance policies before you make any decisions.